Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install SQL Server 2022 Express on Windows Server. First of all, visit the Microsoft website and download SQL Server Express. To start the download, click Download Now. Once the download is complete, find the installation file in the download folder. To start the installation procedure, run the file. After you've started the installation, you'll have the option of choosing one of three installation types. The type of installation we are using is custom. To start downloading the setup files, specify the installation location and click install. Now you will get a window. This process may take some time depending on your download speed. The SQL Server Installation Center is open once the wizard has finished downloading the install package. This window has a variety of tools for installing and managing your SQL Server. To start the installation process, select the new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation option. The license terms for SQL Express Server are described on the following screen. To continue, select the box next to I accept the license terms and the privacy statement, then click Next. Tick the checkbox next to check for SQL Server 2022 upgrades in scheduled Windows updates using Microsoft Update. Click Next to proceed. The Install Rules screen helps in the detection of potential installation errors. Before continuing with the installation, any entries having a failed status must be rectified. If there are no failed entries, then click Next to continue. In the Azure Extensions for the SQL Server section, uncheck Azure Extensions for the SQL Server, and click Next. Check the boxes in the Features section of the Feature Selection screen to specify which elements of SQL Server 2022 to install and define the install directories. To continue, click Next. Next, you can select between the default and custom instance names on the Instance Configuration screen. Here we use the Named Instance option and keep the default suggested names. To continue, click Next. Then click Next until you get to the Database Engine Configuration section. You may choose the authentication mode for your SQL Server on the Database Engine Configuration screen. Here we choose the Mixed Mode option, and we're going to make the current user an administrator. To continue, click Next. The following screen displays the current installation progress. The new screen gives an overview of the installed features once the installation is complete. To complete the installation, click Close. If you want the changes to effect, you must restart your computer. Start by downloading a copy of the SQL Server Management Studio. Use the following link to download SSMS from the Download SSMS section as shown. To start the setup, open the installation file and click Install. Once the setup is done, click Close to exit. Next, open the SQL Server Management Studio. Choose SQL Server Authentication in the Login window, and log in with the default login and the password you created during SQL Server 2022 setup. To connect to the server, click Connect. If the login window closes without error and you can see the main window of SQL Server Management Studio, the connection is working properly.